We call what we do the hardest fun that you'll ever have. Being in an environment of 350 people who are all incredibly passionate, incredibly hard workers, it inspires me to work a lot harder. Really collaborative, energetic, and exciting would probably be the way to describe it. The world has changed, and the skill set that it's going to be most important for the 21st century is not the same skill set as the one that we created in the 1950s. So our definition of an engineer is a person who envisions what has never been and does whatever it takes to make it happen. Here we can integrate the math and the science and the arts and humanities, the entrepreneurship and the design right into what's happening in the engineering space. There are a lot of studies that document that lectures don't actually have the impact that we hope that they would have. Just sitting there watching someone draw stuff or write stuff on the board and you copy it down and you call it a day it never quite works for me. At all and we've taken the focus and put it really on what the student does, what the student experience is. So our students from the very first days in the curriculum they're working on projects and building things. So rather than listening to how it could be done, you actually do it and experience it. The process of active discovery is really important for having learning that's meaningful. When you provide students with the opportunity to take risks and be able to fail without actually having that failure be something that shows up on their transcript, but instead that failure is an opportunity for them to learn, that can really engender a kind of intrinsic motivation that certainly I found in a lot of my own undergraduate experience wasn't there. If I'm there and I have to solve my own problems, I have to figure out what I need to know, I have to go find that knowledge and then apply it, it sticks around for a lot longer. As an engineer, there is something in the space of entrepreneurship that's highly relevant to each and every one of us. Every Owen student understands that a piece of them is an entrepreneur. Our most local academic partners, Babson and Wellesley, are probably the most important ones that we have. Babson is a, a world-renowned business and entrepreneurship school, and Wellesley is a highly regarded liberal arts college. Having access to Wellesley and Babson was a pretty big plus for me, to be able to reach out and take humanities courses or business courses if I wanted to. Olin is kind of unique for engineering schools in that we have basically a 50-50 split between women and men. Before I came, that wasn't really a thing I realized I cared about. And then I got here and I realized how much I liked having other women around. Work and play are not ever truly segregated. I think we have a really great culture around when we work and when we play and how those two interact. Passionate pursuits are a very big part of the education. The school gives the student a certain amount of money to go and to work on a project that they're passionate about. It can be anything from uh, making truffles to photography to ceramics. Outside of my curriculum time, I also do a lot of work with the theater group that we have on campus. And so it gives me a chance to break away from the technical aspect and put my artsy hat on for a little bit. <laughs> I think we've created an environment that gives them a lot of room to play and to think and to move and to, to experiment. And we all learn so much from the experiments, especially the ones that don't work. SCOPE is our senior capstone project. It's a chance to spend two semesters working with some company on a project that genuinely matters to them. So we bring in companies from outside with real problems, and then the Olin students examine the problem, come up with a solution, and prove out a proof of concept. The companies love it. We have more companies knocking on our door than we can possibly fit in the program. Olin's an engineering school where you understand that there's a fundamentally different definition of engineering. It's not about sitting in a closed room building technical widgets. It's about deeply understanding the world and what it needs, and then going and crafting the solutions and then trying to deliver them to the world so you can make it a better place. About 40% of Olin's alumni so far have continued on to graduate work. About 25% of the kids who continue on go to either Harvard, Stanford, or MIT. Engineers who understand the people they're engineering for, who understand the pragmatic aspects of how to translate engineering innovation into successful business. Those are critical aspects of engineering in the future. It's common for employers to want to hire Olin students to become project managers immediately. I had no idea all of the various opportunities that engineering could open up for somebody. I'm a systems engineer for the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center. My leadership knows that they can give me any kind of problem, I'll be able to come up with the best solution. During my freshman year here at Olin, I was also part of founding the company that became Big Belly Solar. 
I work at Continuum as a mechanical engineer. My favorite part about Olin looking back is the community and the curiosity and encouragement that comes from it. In terms of a job, I'm trying to go into the design space, so I have a ton of projects to put in my portfolio. The number of places our students go and the number of organizations that want them is, I think, all the evidence you need that we must be doing something right. There's a shared belief that what Olin's doing is important and beyond important that we can actually make a difference.